Our first speaker, Martina Okerlund, is the CEO of Swedish sports tech company Trigi. She has 20 years of experience from the yeah. banking and finance industry in various senior positions, such as CMO, head of regulatory reporting and management consultant. Uh, over to you, Martina. Well, thank you. And I'm uh, so happy to be here. Thank you, Magenta and Bevy, for doing this and supporting this extremely uh, important area that is really uh, a priority of passion of mine. <clears throat> so I'll start by sharing my screen. Can you see my presentation? Yes. Great. We got the tech working. That is, um, you always appreciate that nowadays. Uh, so my name is Martina Akerland and I'm the CEO of Trigi. And I just wanted to make a short intro of uh, what's me. Uh, as you mentioned just before, I've done 20 years within banking and finance, but decided to leave six months ago. Uh, I've had various leading positions, such as management consultant, regulatory reporting, moved an entire bank to agile ways of working, and chief marketing officer. And you would think that these are extremely different kind of areas, uh, and for sure it is. Uh, my passion has always been to deliver on goals and do it together with the team. Uh, and that has been like the common thing between these different roles that I've had. And I'm driven by joy. Uh, I like it when things are fun uh, and I don't like it when I work too much and don't have time for joy. Uh, so that is always a priority of mine. So I'm going to speak to you today about courage. And just to define this, I had to go to Wiki to just, how do you define courage? And courage is the choice and willingness to confront agony, pain, danger, uncertainty, or intimidation. And of course, when you read this, uh, you really got to have the courage to be willing to meet these kind of obstacles or um, hard, tough, situations. You should always remember that us humans, we are herd animals uh, and, and we kind of like it when it's comfortable. Uh, we, can, we also have almost a willingness to uh, be a little bit lazy. So courage, I wouldn't say it doesn't come natural for, for most of us. I'm sure that you have seen this before, but I couldn't, I couldn't speak about courage without having this picture. You all know that we have a comfort zone where we really like it. We're comfortable there. I think we could all actually spend our whole lives there. But of course, that's not where the magic happens. And I think you all can relate to when you have pushed yourself out of that comfort zone and the amazing feeling uh, that you get then. And it's almost a little bit addictive, I would say, when you start. I love this quote by Richard Branson uh, from the first time I read it. If somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, but you are not sure you can do it, say yes and then learn how to do it later. And I think if we try to live by this, uh, we will automatically push ourselves because we say yes. And also if someone offers us an opportunity, it's because they believe that we will manage. So we have to practice uh, also the way of thinking that we will manage, we will learn, we will adapt. I guess uh, as, as some of you are located in Sweden, you know Pippi Longstockings, uh, a Swedish children's book. I couldn't find this quote in English, but it's something like, oh, I've never done this before, so I'm sure I'll be excellent at it. 
and and maybe um, I think most of us are are not as self secure as Pippi is, but I think that we can feel inspired by seeing this not being the good girl, but being curious, uh, trying things out and actually believe that we will manage. Of course, when you push yourself out of the comfort zone, you will also, you will also sometimes fail. And it's, it's easy to, to feel bad in those situations. It's easy to start blaming yourselves most of the times we ourselves are our toughest judges but here when you end or not when you end up here where, where you find yourself in in this situation where you feel like well you you failed i think it's important to reflect on this uh, but then move on because you can't change what have happened. You can, you can only change going forward, but you can learn and develop by the things that you have learned. You took a chance. You were extremely brave taking a chance and that's part of the journey. When I find myself in these situations, it's extremely important for me to surround myself with the right kind of people, the people that don't, uh, feel bad together with me, but actually lifts me up. Uh, that encourages me to move on. Uh, and also, I try to practice being kind and loving to myself. One of the jobs I've had, uh, I've, I've, I had this uh, great manager who, who hired me and gave me an opportunity, and I didn't know anything of this area and he was like but of course you should do it we're in this together and i will help you and i started and then he left two weeks later so i ended up in a total chaotic situation uh, lots of politics and uh, um, i didn't know this area but i wouldn't be i wouldn't have developed as much myself uh, but I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't take this. Uh, it was it was a tough time of uh, or a tough period of my life, but I learned so much. So don't be afraid to fail. Just keep moving forward. So treat them. When you see this, when you only just look at this picture, uh, you can see that this is something completely else than the stable world of banking and finance and the well-planned and structured world of banking and finance. Uh, I wanted a challenge and I met the founders of Trigi, three wonderful entrepreneurs that had a goal with their business. We were going to build a great company for three years. This was high tech, it was sports betting, and I love doing sports, but I have never betted on anything, and I don't even like watching it. I like doing it myself, but I don't watch sports. Uh, it was all male dominated, a new industry, a new role, uh, a scale up, and 17 guys, and me. And I was supposed to head, be head of this, as CEO uh, and I felt like okay now I need all the courage I got to, to do this but also uh, when, when I met them uh, I felt good in my stomach I felt like this this is going to be fun uh, and it's a real challenge but I also did some like research or due diligence on, on the company and, and everyone working here. And I, could, I only heard good things. So I thought that, okay, I will grasp this opportunity. Uh, and I have come to learn that uh, when I uh, change position, uh, everything feels great for like the first one or two months. And then I will sometime eventually end up where I'm, I realize that I'm so far out of my comfort zone. And I'm like, why do I always push myself here? Uh, and I'm ready to like give up 
Uh, and this uh, was the case at Trigi. I started the 1st of October and the 1st of December, I was going to be in an expert panel on the betting on sports America. I was going to discuss sports betting and tech products, clients, the market. Uh, and this was like, I think this is one of the worst things I've ever done. Uh, I did a, a crash course for two months to prepare myself uh, as, as, uh, as much as I could. Uh, and that day I was all grumpy and I was almost ready to quit. But I had to do this. This was all out on LinkedIn. So I just had to do it. Uh, but um, it, I wouldn't say it's, it's not my best performance, but I did, I did well. Uh, new in sports betting after two months. I, I just had to say, okay, it, it was good enough. But also uh, due to this crash course and that I had to do this, I had to learn so much about sports betting. So it was a great way of uh, giving me as much knowledge as possible. And also after this, everything feels like easy. So these are most of uh, the great guys of Trigi. Uh, and they actually gave me a welcome gift I hope that you can see that this is a sign uh, that I have on my desk saying boss lady. Uh, and I think they are really, they're, they're the cutest team. Uh, and they said that uh, when I feel annoyed or mad or my patience is lost with them, then I should watch this, uh, hold this and it would feel better. Uh, and that was like also like, um, um, I think a really good welcoming gift from them. These guys they are so competent, they all do their best and it was such a relief to find a team like this if you're used to the politics of large uh, banks, but I would guess most large uh, companies. Uh, it's, it's a relief to have a team where everyone is working on a common goal. And as a woman, I'm trying to, to get as many women on board to, to Trigi as possible. And some are reluctant to join a startup. But I really want to re recommend this to you because in a startup, you get so many possibilities. Uh, and if you do well, you will get even more possibilities. So don't be afraid to join a startup. So, Maybe you can just reflect a little bit on what do you think you need to have the courage. For me, it's important to have the support uh, from a manager, from friends or family or someone else to have the inspiration, of course, that this is something I really want to achieve and do. And maybe you need a leader that you can be courageous following or you need a team where the feeling is we do this together. You also need to have the right company culture, uh, a culture which allows you to make mistakes. Uh, if, if you don't have that culture in your company, people and yourself won't, uh, you won't dare to make mistakes. And of course, then it's no space for courage. So make sure that you're in the right surroundings. And of course, you got to have the guts to feel like this is something I want to do. And now, I jump. I can only do my best and that's actually good enough. Um, I don't like to generalize things, but I think that, that most of us can, uh, can be kinder to us, ourselves, knowing that we are good enough and doing my best is the best we can do. And that's actually amazing in the right surroundings. As I mentioned in the beginning, my passion has always been my joy. I think it's easy when you're uh, grown up uh, and, and you want to deliver that you almost forget to your joy. Uh, but we, as humans, we want to have fun uh, and we want to feel joy. Uh, so don't forget to have fun uh, in your career and in your life because everything is so much easier when you do. My father always told me that everything will work out. 
he's an entrepreneur and I often spoke to him when I was a teenager. And as a teenager, when you have all the problems in possible that you can have in the world, this is something that is uh, kind of, um, that's not the answer that you want to have. That, yeah, yeah, sweetheart, it will work out. But I've come to realize that it actually will. And I'm trying to have faith in just that you have to trust that it will. Try to have faith in everything will work out. This picture, when I made this pre presentation, I was looking for a picture around intuition. Because to me, this is so important. And I was surprised when I found that it was Steve Jobs, one of the most successful men in the world, that have said that have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. To me, earlier in life, it was all about making the right decisions. Uh, and, and today, we're in a world of data-driven decisions. But I think as, as human and persons, uh, we need to have the courage to follow our heart and intuition because that's actually our superpower. It's when we have that courage to follow the feeling that you have, that's when you end up in the right place for you. We are all unique and we all need to find our own road and purpose in life. And you only do that if you follow your heart. And with this, I want to, with all my heart, uh, inspire you and just uh, wish you the best of luck in don't limit yourself because that's only in our minds and we are the best ones in doing it ourselves. So try to push that away and believe instead in yourself and actually everything is possible. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Martina, for this fascinating talk. Uh, yeah. Amazing advice. Uh, we will have a panel discussion afterwards.